Hi everyone, uh, my name is James and I've been trying to study a book called Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning um, and I noticed that there aren't a lot of videos as to, um, you know, meant for assisting in, in the learning process for the book and I figured I would try to uh, make a couple. Um, so for problem 1.1 we start with um, a curve fitting problem, and we have that um, we have our approximating equation y of x uh, and w is equal to the summation of um, you know products of w and, and x from j equals zero to capital M. And then we have a sum of squares error function um, that's basically one half the summation from one to big N of the difference between Y and, and our target our target values. Um, so basically one point problem one point one is asking us to find a system of equations. Um, that would solve for um, a parameter vector that minimizes the sum of squares error function. And whenever you want to minimize a function, um, basically you take the derivative, or in this case, the gradient, and set it equal to zero. Um, and just as a kind of a further explanation of this, um, if you were to plot the error function versus the parameter vector, in this case, let's just assume it's kind of a one-dimensional parameter vector. Um, if that's the error function on the vertical axis and, and the parameter vectors on the x-axis, um, Basically, it's, you know, it's a quadratic function, and it's always positive. Um, so you know that it has to be a convex function, basically. So it would look something like that. Um, so if you find the point at which the um, derivative is equal to zero, then that's the minimum of the function. Or in this case, the gradient, because it's um, you know, a function of a vector, not a function of, of only scalars. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the main key to this problem. The next one is just using the chain rule. So basically, the derivative of e with respect to w is the same thing as derivative of e with respect to u times derivative of u with respect to w. Um, um, so what is u though? You need to pick a u basically that makes it easier to differentiate or, or um, so basically, you just pick u is equal to y minus t sub n, or, um, yeah. So, yeah, and you can rewrite e, sub e of w if you want to see it in terms of u. Um, so, and that, and that looks a lot easier to differentiate, obviously. Um, so, you know, differentiate e with respect to u you would just get, you know, one half times two times u 
because you know um, the derivative of u squared u squared with respect to u is um, just two u. So. substituting back in for you, um, you get that. Okay, um, the next one is differentiating u with respect to um, the parameter vector, or really it's taking the, the gradient with respect to the parameter vector. Um, so for this one, basically if you just think about what u is, um, I mean, you can basically ignore the t sub n portion of the equation because that is independent on um, on w, and then for um, you know, I'll write it out, I guess. So, what is y again? That's really what we're finding. And we just think about basically um, taking the gradient here, it would basically be in a way saying, okay, what's the der derivative of y with respect to? Um, W0, what's the derivative of y with respect to W1? What's the derivative with, of y with respect to W2? All the way through, so you're taking the derivative with respect to all the parameters, all the way to W, um, M. So that's what, we're, that's what we're finding with this gradient. finding the vector. And um, basically the derivative of y with respect to w0 is just 1. Um, if you think about it, it would be technically it would be x sub n to the 0 power, but of course that's 1. Derivative of y with respect to w1 would be x sub n. The derivative of y with respect to w2 would be x sub n to the second power. Um, all the way to derivative of y with respect to w m would be x sub n to the mth power. Um, so you just get a vector with those elements. I'll erase this and rewrite it. Um,
So that's basically what we have now for the gradient of E with respect to W. Okay? Um, set this equal to zero. And we'll find the W vector that minimizes the error function. So if we multiply, you know, distribute um, that term, this expression here, we'll have y times the x vector minus t times the x vector equals zero. And we can move the t to the other side. So what we can say Just thinking about what y is, another, another way of writing this would be um, writing y in terms of the summation. And um, basically another way, so this is kind of it written in sort of a matrix form. Um, another way you could write this is how they have it in the book. And the whole thing that we're trying to show here is that it's equal to the system of equations where, you know, the first equation would be um, basically the summation from n equals 1 to big N of y equals the summation of n equals 1 to big N of t sub n. And then the summation of n equals 1 to n of y times x of n, or x sub n, is equal to the summation of n equals 1 to big N t sub n times x sub n. And it just kind of followed all the way down, so we have a system of n plus 1 equations. And then just to follow the way that they have it in the book, um, summation of Aij, so a matrix A, times Wj is equal to T sub i.
give it a test and be ready. Oh yeah, we're getting some mission signs. So, yeah, thank you, and I will uh, try to do some more problems, and uh, really, if nothing else, you'll help me try to understand the material better, and um, I also don't want to claim that anything I'm doing is, um, like, invariably correct or anything. Um, it's, uh, I'm kind of learning the material as I'm going, so it could definitely be wrong. Um, but I think, you know, I'm fairly confident in, in the work I'm doing. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in the next one.